Buongiorno e benvenuti to the Italian Cooking Class .com. This is Giuseppe here again. Hope you are all well. I trust you are all well. The recipe of today is a zabaione. Zabaione is an Italian eggnog, I believe. The eggnog type side of it. It's a very simple recipe. It has next to no ingredients. These ingredients are just very simply sugar, egg yolks, masala. The reason for the Savoyarga, the Ladyfinger Biscuits, are just something to enjoy the Zabayone with as well and showing the fact of it being a good one because the biscuit should stand up on its own in the middle of it. And Zabayone is a warm dessert and it is made over a double boiler. If you're ever in a restaurant and you receive a Zabayone that is cold, it's not what it should be. It should be warm because then you know it's freshly made. Because if it's not, it's been in the fridge and you may prefer to have it cold as well and that's fine but the whole enjoyment and the beautiful dessert that it is, is with wonderful aeration through it because of the heat that's come up through the double boiler. But we'll get cracking on that right away and we'll show you how to do that. We've got the egg yolks in the bowl. Just a quick little thing about the egg yolks. If you've got the eggs warm, that certainly helps. And also, if it has the little red speck in it, get that out because that will stop it from rising. So then what we do is we add the sugar and we firstly just start whisking that away. Make sure all the sugar is mixed in well with the egg yolk and if it is a little bit thick and fluffy before we add the masala to it. I'm going to turn the double boiler on here, it's just hot pot with some water in it, hot, boiling. Once we're, it's boiling and we're ready to go, we'll put the bowl on the actual boiling water and get the heat, the steam to come around it and warm the, the egg mixture up as we're whisking away. You can see there that, that that's actually thickened up quite, quite a lot and it's a good time and even the colours change and this is when we can now add the masala to it. And we start whisking it. And we'll just put that right over the heat now. Get that heat through the mixture and allow it to rise and become fluffy and it's just great. We'll do that now. We're on the bowl, we're on the double boiler here now. And we've got the heat under it and we're, getting, we're just going to start whisking. It's going to take about eight minutes to actually do. It's just a persistence. One of those things that you have to visualise to actually help it come to life. And also, just be consistent with it. Just like in life, whatever it is that you visualise, be consistent with the dream and make it happen because it always comes true. Honest to God, I speak from experience. And still working on it every day. Another important thing with the actual bowl here is not to get too hot, so lift it and allow the heat to escape and cool the mixture down. Because if it gets too hot, it will not rise as it should and it won't help the process any. See all that aeration happening? Starting to thicken up already. That should double in size and be really thick and creamy and beautiful. That's actually starting to rise heaps already um, and that's been about three minutes. You can see now that's becoming thicker all the time. It's just wonderful. See that? Just beautiful how it's just thick and creamy. See the volume in that? That it was, that was two yolks. It's getting thicker all the time. It's like soft peaks. And that's what you're really after. And it's actually increasing in volume again now. Okay, we'll serve that up now, ready to go. As you can see, you'll notice the volume in that compared to what it was like before. That was two yolks and it's just come right up. It's just so fluffy and cream and just beautiful. We'll just pour that out into the glass. That is to die for. That is so thick. Theoretically, this should stand up on its own without falling in there, without dropping, and just without hitting the sides. We'll give it a go. It's just standing there on its own. It's just gorgeous. Ready to go. Imagine serving that up to some guests. So we'll give that a try now. Just, oh, look at that. This would be nice with fruit or whatever you like. Good with tiramisu. Mamma mia. That's just another heaven sent dish. Mmm. 
the biscuit melting in your mouth as the beautiful fluffy soft egg yolk with the masala and the sweetness coming together in there and it just disappears into your mouth like de dematerializing in the atmosphere it's fantastic please have a go it's so simple so nutritional and really really wonderful to do have a try like the video folks subscribe to the youtube channel we do appreciate you watching thank you very much buon appetito arrivederci this is Giuseppe from the Italian cooking class.com see you again